You guys want to know a secret? I'm recording right now in these nice little uh, jammy sweatpants things that are uh, holiday themed. And uh, what do you think that means? It means it's the holidays and it's that time of year where people really start getting gifts that they don't honestly know if people are going to enjoy for their loved ones. And that's hopefully where I come in. Now if you're watching this video, you should feel lucky because I got about seven different things that you can go ahead and get that student athlete you're watching this video for. Or if you are that student athlete, go ahead and show this video to anyone who might want to get you a present. Your parents, your friends, godparents, anything like that. Go ahead and show that to them and uh, hopefully they get you some from this list. Let's just hope, uh, hope I can help. Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jalvis. I'm your captain today and we're going to be talking about the different things that you can get your student athlete if you're watching this video or you can show your parents or anyone that might want to get you a video if you are the student athlete watching this video. If you guys enjoy the video and it helps you in any kind of way, please leave a like. It really helped the channel and I'd really appreciate it. And if you guys want to see more from me, go ahead subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys can get a notification when I do upload a video or when I do go live. Speaking of live, uh, go ahead and follow me on Twitch as well. We're nearing 50 followers, uh, and I kind of just started streaming, so it's kind of a big achievement for me, I guess. Yeah, go ahead and meet, follow me on there if you guys want to talk about anything we talk about today or in the future. We play video games, we talk about all different kinds of stuff, and if you're interested in that kind of stuff, go ahead and pop in there and uh, hit me a follow, if you will. I'll also slide my socials right here if you're interested in that. And uh, yeah, let's talk about these gifts. So some of these gifts are going to be a little bit more practical and some of them a little bit out there. It really depends on what you need personally and what you can potentially use in the future. I'm going to go from cheapest to probably more expensive stuff, but if I jump around a little bit, forgive me. And let's just start off the list with number one, and that's going to be cones. These are just the type of cones that you can get a lot of different places like Dick's Sporting Goods. I got some right here. They run you probably about like... 15 20 bucks if that so these can be used for a bunch of different things whether it be drills uh, Setting up different routes. There's just a lot of different use cases for these you can set little balls on top And you can do hand-eye coordination kind of drills There's a lot of different things for a lot of different positions that you can do with these simple little cones right here Just uh, Set this over here Okay The second thing on this list that I think you guys could use if you don't already have it would be something like a ladder or maybe some hurdles if you prefer those instead it really depends on what you were wanting to work on uh, these are good for more quick stepping things and hurdles are good for getting your knees up and getting up and over them it's just the physical properties of them that are just inherently different these different items will probably run you about 15 to 20 bucks as well just like the cones it ranges on where you get them from it could be from dicks it could be from nike it could be from adidas uh, anywhere you decide to get these different items it'll run you up a different amount each time and if you guys haven't noticed, the last couple things that I've listed off have been more training things. Uh, I could list off things like uh, a new helmet or something like that. But we're in quarantine and a lot of people are having trouble working out or going to gyms and working out. Even if you are lucky enough to have a season, it doesn't hurt to have these extra items on hand. When you do have to train on your own, possibly in the off season or maybe on a bye week or something like that, or you just want to go get extra routes in or extra drills in after practice or something. That's why the next thing on this list is going to be these resistance bands. These big ones, alright? You can get the ones that go around your ankles, the smaller ones that are like little plasticky, but these are big rubbery ones. Uh, and this is a really thick one actually. There's other ones like these. Uh, these are smaller. Uh, this one's still thick and this one's uh, a bit more stringy. But I don't think anyone's here to listen to me talk about the difference between resistance bands and the different weights each of them hold. Instead, let me just say that these different resistance bands can be used in a lot of different ways, especially if you're having trouble training at home or training away from the gym or anything like that. These can serve a lot of different ways and in a lot of ways they're a one tool fits all kind of item. You need to do some leg curls, hook it up to a stable surface and lay on your stomach and you got a way to do leg curls. You need to do some bicep curls, put it on your feet and do some curls. You need to do some tricep extensions, turn it around 
and do some over the head tricep extensions. There's a lot of different ways to use these and even for sprinting purposes, put it around your body and have someone hold it behind you and then you can start sprinting forward or doing high knees or any other kind of drills you want to do with resistance to make yourself that much faster. These are a powerful tool that you can use in a lot of different ways. A lot of people have the ones that go around your ankles or the ones that go around your knees and they're a really thin elastic material whereas these are a thick rubber and they'll offer a much greater amount of resistance comparatively to something like that along with the fact they're just you know physically bigger. Oh, who said bigger isn't better? Alright, I promise you this is the last training based gift idea, but it's really important because it completes the different phases of all the different types of uh, items that I've given you so far. So all the different items that I've given you so far have been to work your body and find different ways to train yourself on your own. Well, now you have to help yourself recover from that training and that's where this comes in handy. This is just a lacrosse ball and it's pretty powerful in what it can be used for, especially when it comes to rolling out your different muscles. If you want to lay on this on the ground and just roll out, you can really isolate different parts of your body, especially if you just got finished with a workout that absolutely killed you and you just want to lay down and not do anything. It's imperative you get something like this or even a foam roller, that will work too, but this really isolates different parts of your muscles, whereas a foam roller just kind of gets the whole area as a whole, but doesn't really isolate those uh, specific spots on your body that might need some caring for. You know, I'll be honest, I don't really know how much lacrosse balls cost, so I'll go ahead and put that right here so you guys can see how much maybe a pack of lacrosse balls costs or if they come in singles. I got this one through uh, Portland State, they just gave it to us, so this is one I kind of ride with. But anyways, alright. So now we're getting to the kind of more expensive stuff. It depends on how well you can get different deals on different items that I'm about to list off. So the prices will vary, but these are usually upwards of a hundred bucks, maybe less depending on where you get it from. But if you do manage to get it below a hundred bucks, just make sure the quality is good. And uh, let me know down below as well. That's pretty cool that you got something like this that cheap. So uh, number five, basketball shoes. Now we don't play basketball. I think that's pretty clear. Uh, at least most of my viewers don't. If you do, and I'm the YouTuber you choose to go to, that's awesome. I'm glad I could help you. Uh, I try to make my content for everybody, but I play football and that's what I specialize in. So uh, that's kind of where I orient most of my videos towards. But if you are a basketball player, that's very cool and I'm glad you follow me, so thank you. But for a lot of my viewers, we are mostly football players. Now it's give or take, a lot of football players might already have basketball shoes, but it doesn't hurt to ask for maybe a pair for Christmas here or there. And there are some definite advantages to using basketball shoes specifically for training because of us being football players. And if you're a basketball player, the same concept does apply in this regard. As the type of athletes that we are, our type of training relies on really quick movements and really explosive movements all at once. And a lot of it, we're going side to side for our movements along with forward and back. We're not just going straight forward and back. So that's why a lot of training shoes I don't actually recommend and that's because the bottoms that are used for these types of shoes are often to promote straightforward movement for running and other general jogging purposes but that's not what we're doing we're trying to use these for training and even training shoes where a lot of them have the square bottoms they're not exactly as good as basketball shoes and that's because basketball shoes have a very wide toe base and a lot of times you're supposed to be cutting on your toes so when you have that wide base in your toes it allows you to utilize more of that surface area to drive off and not potentially roll an ankle which is what a lot of training and running shoes promote when you do try to use them as regular training shoes going side to side movements and that's just because of the design of the shoe bottoms and the overall build of the shoe not having as big of a wide toe area so the second to last thing on this list really specifies the student in the student athlete and it's probably definitely the most expensive thing on this list although it doesn't have to be if that makes sense. The item in question actually is a laptop or a small Chromebook or something like that because as athletes we don't always have time to do our homework all at home. Sometimes we have to be on the go and doing it and having a portable computer like that, especially if it's just something simple like a Chromebook, 
can really be beneficial to being able to get our homework done and multitask when we might be doing something else. When I was working my job when I was at PSU, it was incremental that I had my laptop with me because it really helped in me being able to study and get my homework done while I was at work so I could do both at once. If I didn't have that laptop, I don't know if I would have even gotten close to as good grades as I did while I was there. All right, and the last thing on this list is kind of a plug, I guess but it's also just a general statement on what you can get someone. And that's basically clothes. Now, the reason I say it's a plug is because I actually do have my own merch. Uh, you can see it down below. You can check out some of the merch for working out specifically there. I also have hoodies and stuff like that. Most of my stuff is geared towards athletes. I have a good amount of stuff on there, uh, but it's mostly all revolved around a couple different designs. I haven't made up a whole lot yet. And if you guys have any other ideas for anything you might want on some clothes, uh, let me know. I will gladly try and put it on there. <laughs> but other than my stuff, uh, more specifically, you can just get the workout clothes for these different athletes that you're looking to buy presents for. Most athletes enjoy workout clothes, compression shorts, long sleeve tees, hoodies, and sweatpants. God, do they love the sweatpants. You know what? It, even more than that, sweat shorts. Dang, I need to get some sweat shorts on the merch store. But really, as long as you know the sizes that they wear, it's hard to go wrong if you shop from places like Adidas, Nike, Under Armour, any of that. These days, I'm pretty happy to get something like socks for Christmas just because sometimes my socks will get lost in the wash or sometimes I just want to switch up the type of style that I'm running if I want to go super short socks or if I want to go calf socks maybe that day. These are a really easy gift to get a lot of different types of athletes and I think they'll be thankful for it. If you guys enjoyed the list today and you guys actually plan on picking up some of the stuff that we talked about today, go ahead and put that down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about the different things that you guys are asking for or you guys plan to get for your friends, family, anything like that for holidays or any other occasion. If you guys want to talk about this or any other topic that we talk about in the future or that we've talked about in the past, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. Go ahead and hop in there and throw me a follow. If you guys did enjoy the video today, go ahead and leave a like and leave down in the comments down below what you guys might be planning to get for this holiday season. And if you guys want to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell right next to it so that you can keep up to date on the different videos I might drop. I just want to say in the past couple weeks, we've passed 300 subscribers and I'm very happy and, and I'm very very thankful that I'm able to supply you guys with my knowledge that I've gathered over my experience with college football. You know hopefully my quality keeps improving the way I think it has and I hope you guys keep enjoying my videos and let me know any other comments that you guys have for me down below on the things that you might want to see from me and have me talk about. Anyways thank you guys so much I appreciate you to the end of the world. My name is Javis and I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah, baby! Yes, sir!